I'm not somebody that procrastinates. I, if there's something that I'm afraid of, I do it first thing in the morning and I just run towards the fire. today I am not alone I am with a special guest and I know you already know him I'm sitting here with Khati Johan Katia oh, I'm so excited to be here so guys before we move on I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet at this point you're wasting time okay because you know what Khat has subscribed to my channel so at this point what are you waiting for <laughs> make sure that you click the subscribe button and join the revolution so let's hop straight into it what are you doing today I am excited. I am glad to be part of the YouTube world now. Wow. So this is my first YouTube video ever. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, breaking and new And I'm grounds. a big fan of your channel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Who are you and what do you do? So, um, professionally, I am, I like to call myself fashion designer to the stars. Oh. Um, and whoever that may be, because all of us, we are stars. So um, whether you are an executive or a housewife or a celebrity, um, I, I am that designer that will just um, make you look a thousand times um, more than you can ever imagine. So, so that is really what I love to do. And I think um, I'm in the business of spreading joy because um, there's nothing quite as fulfilling as putting somebody in a dress or, or a garment and mm. you just see their face light up and just see that happiness going all over them. Right. And that is why I love what I do. Um, and that's why I wake up every day and do it. Wow. So guys, that means I am a star. And if you see, I'm looking better in this video. Why? Because this right here, this right here is <laughs> Johan Kutia. You know, you're, you're a big deal. The media always describes you and stuff, but I want to know, how do you describe yourself? So I always say there's like two different people. There's okay. like me at home and then me when I'm the designer and they're completely different. Right. So me at home is literally so chilled and relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, I love just chilling and just really dressing down because you are always dressed up as a fashion designer because right. if you're not, people don't understand it. So you in particular are known to focus on women's clothing. Why? Why women's clothing? I understand the female body mm -hmm. exceptionally well. Like it, it's, I've never tried to, it's just always come naturally to me. Um, just the way the curves flow, where it gets snatched, where it gets lifted, where it gets accentuated, you know, all those type of things is right. what, what I love to do. And it really just happened by chance. And I think in life in general, the moment you kind of try and force something, like when you try and force a flower to open, you break it. So I think when something is the right thing for you, it should come with ease. And dressing women comes with so much ease to me. And do you see yourself ever dressing men? I do have a men's line, which I very much enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, we, we've been doing um, suits for, for about a year now. Um, our first client was actually Dr. Matthew Knoll, Beyonce and wow. uh, father. So that was quite exciting. So we love doing men's wear as well. It is, it's, it's great pleasure to do um, the different side of it because men aren't as emotional as women. Mm. So they are more strategic and, and more to the point. So that also for myself has taught me so much. Who's your, who's your best client? Someone who you worked with, you're like, you know what, I love this, I want to keep working with you, you know? This over here must be one of my favorite clients ever. Oh my god. <laughs> we did your matric <laughs> dance race, we did right. your bridesmaids for your mom's wedding. Mm -hmm. And every time we've done it, it's just been such an experience. Um, so it's really one of my highlights, working with your whole family. But, you know, working with um, Oprah was, um, was mind-blowing. I think that really was um, something unexpected. Mm. Um, we've worked with Lauren Hill, we've worked with Lupita, we've worked with so many international stars and, and I love working with, with them so much because it just makes you feel as a South African that you are good enough. The fashion industry is a very competitive industry. It, there are tons of designers. How do you stay on top of your game? To stay on top of my game, I make super sure that every client feels like they're the only client. Mm -hmm. I think um, you have to be consistent, always making sure you deliver the same quality thing. And you know what's the, the thing that's actually even better about it is that 
The more a certain client uses you, the higher the expectation becomes every time. Oh, so it is true. much harder to impress a regular than it is to impress a new client. Because regular clients know exactly what you're capable of, mm -hmm. and the moment you don't deliver it, it's a problem. So we see you as the designer and we know you as the designer, but you know, in your spare time, what do you like to do? What do I like to do? You know, I... It's funny because to do this is kind of all that you do. Mm. It's a sad thing. But, um, you know, mind-numbing, fluffy things that's so not fashion-related at all. Like, uh, my husband and I love to um, decorate houses and mm. really like find like a, a beaten down house and like do it up and sell it. Like right. that is one of my favorite things to do and that is something that we have in common and something we do as a couple. Mm -hmm. We love to travel, so we, we, we travel the world constantly and that is a, a great thing. Also for a relationship to like kind of like strengthen it and mm -hmm. cultivate our own relationship with each other because life can get away from you so quickly. True. And that is another hobby. It's just making sure that my partner and I, we both are the best possible versions of each other for each other type of thing. Mm. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that deep. We all love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> if you could choose one place in the world where you could live, where would it be? Italy by far. I think the magic of that little shoe-shaped place mm. is magical. The, the architecture, the history, the way that people are, the food, everything there is something that I love to go back to. Now that you are a worldwide designer, in fact, when I say now, it's not even now, now, because you've been a worldwide designer. What was your first international job? Ooh, my first international job was when, so the Kardashians came to South Africa and somebody asked me, would you like to dress them? And I was, yeah, great, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And we made these beautiful dresses and um, Courtney actually wore hers to the People's Choice Awards in America. Wow. And Chloe um, wore her to like a purse to like a party somewhere. And that was my first time interacting with the international star mm -hmm. was with the Kardashians. You worked with everyone. <laughs> I, wow, I actually never knew you worked with the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. And that was your first That was my first job. thing, yeah, yeah. How nervous were you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like luckily I never met them, you just kind of like make and send. Mm -hmm. um, I think to to meet somebody that you've admired for so many years, and I'm speaking specifically about um, uh, Ms. Oprah Winfrey, mm -hmm. when you see them in person, it is just so overwhelming right. and you, you almost... Um, it becomes surreal. And just to see her live standing in your studio wow. and hearing that voice in front of you um, was inspiring. So speaking of working with Oprah, what like what was that like? What is she like? And when the opportunity came to your lab, how were you like? You know, I have to thank the girls at the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy because um, they were the ones that told them that if you want to South African design, you have to go to Gaat. Wow. So shout out to all those girls. I love you. Um, you were truly amazing. Um, but she is exactly how you think she is. Calm, oh. collected. Everything that comes out of her mouth is pure gold. You just have to write it down and right. remember it. So just, it was it was um, amazing just to be in her presence. What is your greatest strength? Hmm. My greatest strength, I have to say, is to get up and do something. Mm -hmm. I am not somebody that procrastinates. I if there's something that I'm afraid of, I do it first thing in the morning and I just run towards the fire. And what would you say is your greatest fear? Hmm. Mine is rats. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is spiders. Like I hate spiders. But um, in like in life, I think it is the whole thing about not being in control. I think mm. that is kind of everybody's fear. Like be in a situation where you're not in control. Right. That's why I work so hard and try and build what I'm building is so that you have that freedom in your life. Honestly, if you want beautiful clothing, this is the man for you. And he's international too, so there's no such thing as sell that. No, he's <laughs> everywhere and he makes the most beautiful clothing and he has the most beautiful heart. And you are so hardworking and I respect you so much. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. And if you want to see more videos like this, then comment down below. Peace and love, guys.